I believe um, we have significantly made um, quite a lot of intervention that has today seen the village economy and village development and people's livelihood and welfare being more visible. Amerindian development, fostering traditions of sustainable growth, the government invested 15% of the revenues it received from Guyana's forest carbon credit sales in the hinterland communities. So far this year, $2.7 billion was invested in Amerindian and Riverine communities. An estimated $4.7 billion from carbon credit sales was invested in 811 community projects. It's amazing to see how the carbon credit um, disbursed sums of monies to village councils are being utilized. Last year, six villages received legal titles to their land. Those villages were Four Miles, Kopoi Extension, Mashabo Extension, Akawini, Wakapau, and Paramakatoi. A key part of the government's support for Amerindians was the construction of a new building to house the Secretariat of the National Tushau Council. The Ministry of Amerindian Affairs created employment opportunities for 2,600 youths. The young men and women will serve as community service officers. Their combined total earnings is expected to be $1 billion. Another 2,000 indigenous youths benefited from employment through the government's part-time job initiative. In step with President Dr. Irfan Ali's vision of tackling climate change and creating a favorable environment of food security, 170 tractors and trailers were gifted to a number of Amerindian villages. Add to that, 20,000 solar systems were installed in various indigenous communities. The journey to prosperity for all, celebrating the fourth anniversary of the PPPC's government.